In this tutorial I will explain how you can use a micro bit to control an LED using this device, a sensor shield. You probably already know about the micro bit and Arduino. While the micro bit is quite user friendly, Arduino can be more challenging. This starter kit from Key Studio is a great midpoint between the two. Most interesting is the sensor shield, which greatly increases the micro bit's capabilities, enabling it to use a whole range of input and output devices, which will be very familiar to Arduino users. A link to more information about the pack can be found in the notes. For this project, you will need only a micro bit, a Key Studio micro bit sensor V2 shield, a USB cable, a Key Studio digital white LED module. Since you have lots of similar looking components in the starter kit, you can identify it by looking for the word LED written in small writing at the top. You will also need three DuPont jumper wires. All of these, except the micro bit itself, can be found in the starter kit. You may also need a USB-A to USB-C adapter if you have a more modern computer, which will enable you to connect up the micro bit. You should connect the components exactly as in this diagram. A link to the diagram can also be found in the notes. Don't be too concerned if the micro bit does not go into the sensor shield at first. You will need to push it a little bit and use a little bit of force just to ensure it is correctly in place. You should carefully trace each cable to make sure they are plugged in exactly as required. Remember also that the cable from the computer plugs directly into the micro bit, not the sensor shield. Then you'll need to go to a website called MakeCode. Okay, once you get to make code, um, you don't need an account for this site. You can just click here to a new project and start making straight away. We'll call it LED Flash Sensor Shield. Okay, create it. Okay, now here's the on start block. What that means is as soon as the micro bits activated, whatever code you nest inside is going to run. So um, the micro bit actually has its LEDs of its own. But we're not going to be using them for this pro project because we're using our very own LED plugged into the sensor shield. So we will disable the LEDs on the mi micro bit. So we'll go down to LED enable more. And here we're going to actually disable them because we're using a separate LED. And then we can go to basic and get another forever loop. And then this is a little bit tricky. So you can see there's an advanced menu. Click here. You may need to even zoom out a bit on your computer because there's lots of options underneath. The one which we're using is pins. So we'll click on pins and we're going to go to digital write pin PO. And we're going to also get another another piece of code over here called one second so we'll wait for one second in between each flash of the LED so we'll set this to one and we can actually uh, du duplicate both these pieces of code because we're gonna alternate between the LED being on which is one and the LED it being off which is zero okay now we can just drop that up here inside our forever loop like so and that's our program completed we'll delete this one we don't need it carefully connect the micro bit to your computer's socket and once that is connected then you are right to start downloading so once the micro bit is plugged in um, you should see it pop up here on your desktop if not you may just want to search for it go to computer and you can usually find it here on the menu um, then we want to go back to the program we just made um, we will hit download and then it is simply a case of grabbing that program you downloaded and dropping it onto your micro bit like so. Oh, I'll drop it here first and then I can drag it from there and drop it onto the micro bit. And once you do that, it may take a little while to copy to the micro bit, but if it's working correctly, you should see the LED flashing every second.